Mr. Chief Justice, and may it please the Court. Section 10J authorizes district courts to grant preliminary injunctions that they deem just and proper. 10J thus requires district courts to apply the traditional four factors as set out in Winter v. NRDC. This Court should reverse. The Court of Appeals held that Winter's four factors do not apply under Section 10J. All that mattered below was whether any facts supported a non-frivolous legal theory and whether there was harm, not whether that harm was irreparable. The government argues that whether a two- or four-part test governs, statutory context compels district courts to conduct, quote, a less exacting and more deferential inquiry into the merits without undertaking an intensive effort to resolve factual issues. But 10J contains no language, much less clear language, diluting the traditional standard. Preliminary injunctions are extraordinary and drastic remedies. Here the Board seeks a coercive injunction backed by contempt sanctions. And the Board seeks the very same injunctive relief that it would get if it won the case. Such relief is highly inappropriate absent a clear showing under all four factors. The government justifies deference because the Board, not trial courts, ultimately decide the merits at the back end. But Congress directed trial courts, not the Board, to apply the winter factors at the front end. The Board hasn't even made any factual findings to defer to. Agencies have no expertise whatsoever in how courts should exercise their equitable discretion. Indeed, the Board, in its adjudication, will not even consider the four winter factors. This Court has never deferred to an agency's litigation position, and it should not start here. I welcome your questions. Uh, Ms. Blatt, the um, government says that uh, petitioners' ahistorical decontextualized approach is inconsistent with the statutory text, the basic premises of equity, and over a century of case law. Uh, what's your reaction to that? <laughs> I, um, no. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know where they're getting that. I mean, this court in winter and a million other cases have said that um, these four factors are longstanding and the clear statement rule goes back to Justice Story. But I just think the text on its face, you don't have to get too far, says just and proper. That's um, obviously uh, harks to traditional equity, and here we have the four factors. Do you think they're real, they're, the government argues that you're, because they are protecting the board's jurisdiction as opposed to the court's jurisdiction, that that's a difference? Not at all. Not at all. I mean, a preliminary injunction, I mean, it's assigned to the district court. It has the same reasons. You have to show that there's a likelihood of success on the merits. And obviously, if the harm is uh, recoverable, you're not entitled to the injunction at all and balance of the equities. There's no, I don't even understand the board's jurisdiction. There are a multitude of contexts where an agency has an adjudication. And if it wants a preliminary injunction, it's got to make the showing that every other party would have to make. But 